Hi, this is Matt Garrett and welcome back to the Niche Secrets video tutorials. Now, this is video number eight and what we're going to look at in this video is automation. So in the previous seven videos, we've gone through the whole process step by step from how to brainstorm new ideas for keywords to checking there's enough search volume so you will actually get visitors and then making sure the keyword has real value so you can actually make money on to analyzing the competition to make sure you can rank for the keywords and then how to expand the initial keyword into a real niche authority site. But you've probably realized by now it can be kind of long winded repetitive and dare I say it, downright boring. Now don't get me wrong, it does work. I've got sites and niches that I discovered using exactly these techniques that I've had for years and they still make me money today. But wouldn't it be easier to save all your time and effort for actually building those profit pulling niche sites? Yes, I thought so too. And that's where Niche Reaper comes in. Let me show you. A niche Reaper is really the state of the art as far as keyword discovery and niche discovery goes because it's not just expanding on those keywords, it's actually finding initial ones for you as well as giving you all the data you need and analyzing, for you, analyzing it all for you and putting the keywords together into niches. Okay, this is the home page and you can see straight away we've got some stats here. Uh, we have over 2.7 million keywords already researched in the database. So it's massive, but we actually research around 20,000 new keywords every single day. Today we're running up to 3,000, it's fairly early in the day. Now you can also see that niches, we've got 202,000 niches, and each niche can have between half a dozen to 10, 20, 30 keywords within the niche. And new niches this month, 4,000 odd, and 124 today. So these figures are constantly going up. You can see how much new data is coming into the system on a daily basis. Okay, let's go across and have a look at the next page, which is for the live feed. So you can see where keywords dropping into the system. So if we just click on the live link and go across to the live feed, now this is where you can actually see the new keywords being researched right now, dropping live into the database. And if you spot one you like, you can just click on the star next to it to mark it and say, yes, I want to come back and have a look at that later on. Now at the moment, we're again going through a whole series of Xbox keywords by the looks of it, all being picked up from Amazon. Um, if you miss something, if it drops off the list too quickly for you to to click on it and put a star next to it. You can change the view, so let's go to 50, and we can scroll back down and pick up something we missed. So there's a couple down here. Now this A next to each keyword shows that the data, the original seed data has come from Amazon. But we also look at Twitter for the live feed, we look at Yahoo Buzz, uh, Google Trends, all these different areas to get the live seed keywords to find brand new keywords and niches that we can actually pull the data in for. As you can see, it's zooming through quickly, picking up lots of new keywords. One word of warning here, this can get very addictive, just sitting here and watching the new keywords coming in and grabbing them as they do so. Okay, let's head across to the keywords page and have a look at that. Okay, so what have we got here on the keywords page? First of all, you'll notice we have a color coding system. Green is for good, amber is possible, and white probably not worth playing with or even thinking about. And that's based on two things, value and competition. Okay, so for instance, the opportunities, this is one of the important columns that we have. This is where we identify whether there's a potential opportunity to get into the top five in the results. If there isn't, then there's always going to be zero clicks and zero value because those two are calculated from the number of opportunities. There has to be at least one, otherwise it's not worth going after. Basically, if there isn't an opportunity, there's too much competition, that's why. Now, the uh, keyword can still be white, even if there are opportunities, if the clicks are too low or the value's too low. So again, it's not worth going after. So what we're really interested in is the green ones, where there's more than one potential opportunity, there's enough clicks and a high enough value for us to be interested in. Now the value is calculated based on the cost per click value multiplied by a click through value uh, multiplied by the number of clicks. And the number of clicks comes from the position that is possible from the opportunities multiplied by the percentage of the traffic that you 
get for being in that position multiplied by the searches. So you can see we're actually doing a lot of calculations for you to work out a very real estimate of the value based on an AdSense click-through value and the individual clicks. So we're doing calculations to make life easier for you. The page rank is the average page rank for the top five results for that keyword as is the backlinks. So that's the average backlinks for the top five sites. Then we've got whether the .com, .net or .org domain based on that keyword, so a keyword based domain, whether that's available to buy and whether the Facebook vanity URL is also potentially available. So we're providing a lot of data there straight away, but there is an option to dig down further to look at the results themselves. However, before we look at that, let's look at some of the inf other information we've got here. First of all, we can filter by those keywords that we previously tagged as ones that we're interested in. So ones that we've marked by starring them. If I just click on that, it will filter straight to those that are starred. We can also filter by just green or amber or white if we needed to for some reason. But I'm going to go straight to green. So we're taking out all the orange ones and we're down to green ones that I previously said I'm interested in. And here you can see the other data sources such as Google, Yahoo, etc. Now you also have the option for custom filters. There are filters available at the bottom here and you can set up your own custom filters. You can also export all your favorites. So all the ones that you've starred, you can export them straight to a CSV file. You can also decide whether you want to show extra columns or hide some of these columns of data if they're not interesting to you. And there are some extra settings available as well. Those are basically to allow you to filter out certain keywords or niches that you're not interested in, such as uh, Viagra or MLM, something like that, something that you're never going to be interested in. Okay, let's unstar so that we're getting all the greens, and let's filter on some different values instead. So let's get right down to some good uh, information. Let's say we want all those with page rank of less than two, and hit return. So that's now filtering us down to just those keywords with a page rank of less than two or an average for the top five results. It takes a moment to do because there is 2.6 million keywords in here. Uh, and let's say we also are only interested in those with over, let's say $2,000, uh, well, actually let's say 1,500, oops, value per month. And let's dig right down into that database. And then we can just scroll through and see what results the system's brought up for us when it finishes filtering. Now obviously with 2.7 million keywords in the database, there's plenty of scope to actually filter even more aggressively. So we could filter on, let's say, the number of clicks and say we want just those with over 2,000 clicks or even over 5,000 clicks. And this database is big enough to be able to deal with that and give you great results. Now, as you can see, just looking through here, there's some all sorts of keywords available. Swollen spleen, that's not something I would have thought of. Uh, CD cover size, tilt games, watch human centipede. Basically, the system is not only going to pick up those keywords that you would have thought of naturally, it's going to pick up ones that you wouldn't have thought of. That's the beauty of how the system is going out and doing this research for you and discovering domains that you wouldn't otherwise have think, thought of. And the point is, it then provides you with the data in such a way that you can straight away find out which keywords are high search volume, low competition, and high value. So bingo, you've got the information you need straight away. Now, there's one here that uh, looks quite interesting, increase customer attention. There's not a massive amount of searches, but what we can do is drill down to check the information for this particular keyword in a bit more detail. And basically what we're doing is taking a look at the top five results in Google for that keyword. Um, the data we've got, we've got all sorts of data here. Don't worry about understanding all this. There is a massive amount of training in the system, not only on how to use the system itself and how to understand all this data that we provide, but also how to do things like actually build successful niche blogs and things like that and get traffic and do on-page SEO etc etc um, I will cover that a bit later on okay so we can see straight away why there's a good couple of opportunities here they're both green they've got low or zero page rank for the actual page they've got low page rank for the actual domain uh, they haven't got that many backlinks they've not got the keyword in the URL or in the title if not it's not uh, 
authority sites. It's not, in other words, a, a .edu or .gov. And they're not even getting backlinks from .edu or .govs. So we've got a lot of data here showing that there's two great opportunities to get into the top five for this keyword. Okay, so what we can do now is we can actually go and see if there's uh, other keywords that are related, i.e. whether there is a full niche for this keyword. And all we need to do is click on this icon here, which will go and find niches for this keyword. And here we go. So if we expand this, again, by clicking on the icon here, this time we're actually in the niches page. So when we expand, we're not looking at digging down into the search results for a particular keyword, we're looking at all the keywords within a particular niche. Now you can see straight away there is a lot going on here in this niche. And that's the real point here, we're no longer looking at just a keyword, we're looking at a whole niche. So all these keywords are related, they're related keywords, LSI keywords, we can build up a niche authority site using all of these keywords. We've basically got a plan here for all the keywords we want to attack with our different blog posts or articles, the uh, keywords we want to use for anchor text for our backlinks. It's all laid out for us. Um, if you scroll down a bit, you can see there are whites as well as greens and oranges. The white ones, obviously, potentially more difficult to rank for or they just don't have any value, but there are plenty of green and orange here to go for. Now, if I just un expand it again just to go back to the niche itself you'll see that on the niches page we have similar facilities so you can filter by green amber white you've got custom filters you've got the settings the showed high columns etc but the main set of data here at the top is different because for instance where we're looking at keywords this is the number of keywords within this niche and it is just those that are green or amber. It doesn't include those that are white. And then we have the overall value for all the keywords within this niche and overall clicks for all the keywords in this niche and the overall searches for all the keywords in this niche as well as the dot coms, not net, dot orgs that may be available. So you can see we're amalgamating all the keywords for this niche and pulling them together into one source for you. So, I mean, this is fantastic. You can then just ex export this straight into a CSV file and you've got not just your keyword research done, but your niche research done. So you can see now how Niche Reaper isn't some sort of keyword expansion tool. It discovers all these great keywords for you. It makes sure that they're valuable and you can, you can compete for them and there's enough traffic in them. And it then bundles them all together into a niche so you're no longer looking at targeting one or two keywords you're actually targeting a whole niche so that your site will have real authority in that niche and get far more traffic free traffic from the search engines because all these keywords all these posts that you do will help each other rank better and get all that extra free traffic obviously i came to this niche through one of the keywords for this niche but we can equally click on any of the keywords here within the niche and go and dig down and look at the results for that particular keyword. But let's go back to the actual keyword page itself. And from here, let's go across to the niches, niches page without taking it from a keyword. And let's do some filtering on that. When the niches page first comes up, obviously it will default to the most recent keywords that are, sorry, niches that have been uh, researched and dropped into the system. Now, before you rush off and start doing filters, it's always worth just having a quick look through these in case there's any there that catch your eye. Uh, and there is one, in fact, Kinerace. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, Kinerace. Um, that looks like it could be an interesting niche. Looks like eye cream, lotions, skincare, and it looks like there's a lot of low page rank pages there. Um, some good value, some good clicks, some good searches. That's potentially a niche that I might want to start and come back to later on. Okay, but again, we've now got the option to do all the standard sort of filters that we did on the keyword. So we can go straight away just to those niches that are green. And we can then say, right, we want all those with a value of over 20, oops, let's put greater than 20,000 and hit return and we're filtering those results down already 
And again, with over 200,000 niches already researched and in the database, you can actually filter more aggressively. So we could filter on the number of keywords with a niche or the number of searches that we want. Um, but again, before you do so, always have a quick check through because uh, you'll spot some odd ones anyway. I mean, for instance here, cerebral palsy, that's got 151 keywords. Now that is a niche with phenomenal depth. You know, with 151 keywords within the niche, that has a huge amount of potential. Okay, so for instance, I would put certainly uh, star that one. I, what I'd probably actually do is export it straight away to the CSV file and start working on it and register a domain. Um, but there's another one here as well, how to make a website. Now that I'm gonna star. Um, I do from personal experience know that that is a good niche. Uh, it is a valuable niche, not for AdSense, but for actually teaching people how to make websites. Um, there's plenty of ways you can monetize that. So even just putting in one simple filter and looking at the first page without going any more or even scrolling down, I found two great niches to work with. Although I guess I should actually say two more niches to work with and over 160 keywords. Now you can also sort by the different columns of information as well. So instead of just filtering, you could say I want to sort by the value or by the number of keywords, etc. I think by now you've got a real taste of just how powerful Niche Reaper is. It saves you time and money every step of the way, from doing that initial keyword idea and discovery for you, to digging out and checking the search volume and the values of the keywords, and then making sure that there are real opportunities to rank for that keyword, not just on the first page of Google, but in the top five results, as well as putting all that data right there at your fingertips whenever you want it. And don't forget, Niche Reaper isn't just providing keywords, it's putting all those related and LSI keywords together into one niche for you. So you can build true authority sites, dominate the search engine results, and grab even more free traffic. The time saving for you is just phenomenal. But that's not all. We've also got over 60 training videos built into the system covering everything you need to know. So no matter what your level of experience is, we've got you covered to make sure you get the very most out of your Niche Reaper membership. So from the tutorial video showing you all about Niche Reaper itself and how it works and all the data that you get, to the training videos on how to set up your first niche site, including choosing a domain, finding hosting, setting up a blog, everything you need to know about getting a niche site up and running, to using Facebook fan pages, how to set up fan pages, how to get people to like them, how to get uh, the most out of the fan page and drive that traffic back to your niche site, how to leverage Twitter and get traffic from Twitter, how to get traffic generally from the search engines. So there's an introduction guide, there's a step-by-step -step guide, there's a whole series of videos specifically on different traffic techniques. There's also tutorials on monetizing your site. So there are different ways in which you can make money from your niche sites, from AdSense to Amazon, to banner ads, to eBay, to affiliate marketing, CPA offers, list building, all of these are covered in the tutorial videos to make sure, as I said, you get the absolute most out of your Niche Reaper membership. And on top of those 60 plus training videos, we have a resources page, which has links to some of the best useful and free resources and tools from across the internet, things that we use on a daily basis. On top of that, there's a massive list of affiliate sites and networks, and we're constantly adding new resources to this area as well. But on top of that, there's also extra member-only free bonuses and tools, software, basically paid products of our own that we've put in here just for Niche Reaper members. And if I scroll down, you can see there's, I think there's up to 10 so far, um, and there's well over 100 or $200 worth of software there and products for you just as free member extra bonuses. The only problem, as you'll see, if we go across to Niche Reaper itself and hit refresh, so you can see this is live. Niche Reaper is closed to new members. It has been for quite a while now, and we don't know when it's gonna open up again. Um, it is a very, very popular system, and you've seen why. 
Now the good news is that you're obviously on the priority waiting list. So if a spot does come up, you'll be contacted via email to let you know straight away. But if that happens, I highly recommend grabbing your spot straight away because they will go. Um, and as I said, this isn't probably going to open again for a long while. So stay on the priority waiting list. And if you see an opportunity, if you see an email saying there's a spot available, grab it. Okay, that's the end of the Nice Secrets tutorial videos. For the moment, we may add more in the future, but for the moment, that's the end of video eight. Thank you very much for watching. And as I said earlier, please keep an eye on your inbox just in case one of those spots comes up in Niche Reaper. Uh, they do go really quickly. So keep an eye out. If one comes up, I highly recommend you just grab it as quick as you can. Hopefully see you on the inside. Thanks very much for watching.